driver is under arrest this evening, accused of striking and killing an educator near a San Francisco school. KPIX 5's Andrea Borba shows us how his death is raising safety concerns near campus. Andrea? Well, Elizabeth, there are signs here on the corner of Union and Franklin tonight that read, a driver killed our neighbor here. Friends of paraeducator Andrew Zyman are gathered at the corner where he passed away on Wednesday. We are giving them some space to grieve right now. Meanwhile, parents of Sherman Elementary School students say something has to change in this neighborhood to keep people safe. At the corner of Union and Franklin, there is a growing memorial for paraeducator Andrew Zyman, who was hit by a car and killed at the intersection Wednesday. A member from our school named Mr. Andrew was um, um, got in a car crash. And, but I, even though I didn't know him very well, I still feel bad for him. The driver of the car, 70-year-old Susan Benarucci, allegedly ran a red light, causing the crash that killed Andrew. She has been charged with vehicular manslaughter. As Sherman Elementary School let out today, the crossing guard was on duty, and parents and students stopped by the memorial to pay their respects. Parents say they've been petitioning the city for a decade to slow traffic down on Franklin, fearing just this result. Slow zones, um, yellow flashing lights, or anything like that. And speed bumps and anywhere else would make a lot more sense. So don't you think? I mean, this is like a like a you know little kids' school here, isn't that? I think we should have like more prominent signs of the school zone. Franklin is a major north-south one-way artery used by drivers to avoid the mess on Van Ness. The blocks before Sherman Elementary have a steep pitch, and drivers often pick up speed on that route. There is only one school zone sign at the beginning of the block where Sherman sits. People walk with their families and their children every day back and forth to school, so this needs to be um, a safe spot, a safe zone for our community to get to school, not only our families, but also our teachers and our staff. Andrew was a Sherman student himself, eventually becoming an after-school educator and a paraeducator focused on helping children with special needs. He just had such a kind heart and kind soul, and he just... He was a gift to Sherman, and he had a gift in taking care of kids. He really did. He'll be missed. We're devastated. Families here say they hope this finally pushes the city to do something to slow the traffic down on Franklin. Live in San Francisco, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5. Yeah, I know that area really well, and it can get really congested. People can just whip through there really quickly. It's, it can be very, very dangerous. And we love our teachers. This is just devastating.